Hi guys, how are you all doing? You are back with Sam and what I'm bringing you today is the first episode of a brand new series which is all centred around the game Defiance. Now this is a new game for Xbox and it represents a landmark for console users because this is the first time you've been able to play an MMO on a console. So it's a massive online multiplayer world with people everywhere, thousands of people. And every time you log out, while you're logged out, the world changes. So when you come back, there's new things to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to center a series around this game and take you through all my explorations, my adventures, the people I meet along the way, all my friends. And hopefully it'll become like a, almost like a TV series. In the same way you see Frankie on PC cover DayZ, I'm going to cover this game. So the first thing to do is create a new character. So sit rep. I have been crash landed, my ship's crash landed, I've been dropped into somewhere. Uh, what you'll see now, hopefully with a bit of editing, is what happened earlier. I was dropped in with just a pistol and uh, the first thing I had to do was get myself geared up. So uh, I was surrounded by a few mutants, had to fight my way out of there and grab myself an assault rifle, uh, a shield, some grenades and also pick my uh, ego boost which is basically you get one uh, sort of like special power you, that you use the left bumper to trigger. The one I chose is called, I think, Overcharge, which then adds a lot of power to your weapon, uh, makes them a lot more powerful, and then you can also just sort of upgrade it. And this, the system's quite similar to the Mass Effect upgrade system for abilities. So if you play Mass Effect, uh, you'll be sort of at home with, with how to do this. And I'm now headed to meet one of the characters from the TV show, which, uh, if you didn't know, this game is also tied in with the TV show Defiance. So what I'm doing is a is sort of a TV series based on a game tied in with a TV series. So yeah, uh, plenty of bang for your buck there. And uh, I'm going to meet this uh, woman, I think it is. And then we've got to sort of uh, sort this place out because it's sort of infested with mutants. So that's what I'm doing now. So this is, um, this is all open world, like I said. Uh, there's currently thousands of people online, but I probably won't bump into anybody here because it's just the first mission. I'm just starting out. So I think it's pretty much, I think it's a solo mission. So that's my overcharge, you can see. Makes me going a lot more powerful. So it appears there's a reactor in the middle of this. Let's get some ammo. Go on and have a look at that. So yeah, because this is so, so vast, and there's that many people online, as you can see, you can't really go around comparing the graphics of this with the graphics of other games, because you have to sacrifice a little bit of it uh, to allow... Uh, so many people online to allow the massive online multiplayer experience uh, because the Xbox is limited by processing power, it's not like the PC. But it still looks really good, I've got to say that. I, I still think it looks really good and it's really smooth, everything feels quite fluid. So, excellent. I was able to reactivate the fissile materials. The reactor will overload and blow this entire base off the well, that doesn't sound good. Need to keep the mutants from disrupting the process. So, I've got to keep these guys off this reactor now. I mean, as I was saying, it looks really good. I have heard there's a few teething issues at the moment with uh, when you get loads of people in, in the same area. Apparently it lags a little bit, maybe the sound lags a little bit, but that's to be expected. That happens with all MMOs. There's, they, always, they always go through some sort of teething phase. So this is what this is currently going through. It's just a little teething phase, and hopefully this is sort of setting the foundations for more games like it, because I think Destiny, which uh, the developers of Halo, uh, Bungie, are also working on at the moment, so this could be the first of many. Now I did say earlier that this is the first uh, MMO, although I was talking to my friend Joe and he said uh, Final Fantasy XI had MMO features, so possibly not the first, but it's definitely the first time on Xbox you've had something like this, sort of Mass Effect meets Borderlands meets massive open world, so uh, I really like it. So I'll just finish these guys off, oh shit, gonna blow, run 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 run. Cutscene. Well, that was a success. Right, another update. I've been wandering about a bit. I don't want to show you all that because that could get quite boring, me just wandering the wasteland. Uh, checking bodies for someone, but didn't really find what I wanted. So I'm heading over to a little base, and this is where I'm going to meet my friends. Three of my friends, Will, Joe, and Michael. Now you've met Joe before on the White Noise Online videos. Uh, so I'm going to meet these three, and we're going to go do a mission, which apparently... Uh, it's definitely worth doing because it leaves me with some more gear at the end of it. Uh, one of them, I think, is just around here, is it? Yeah. I'm going to get one of those bikes. 
And once I got one of those, we can then just start traveling the world and see what we find. I want to know so. what Right. We're all together now. Uh, I had to wait a little while for them. Because they were at the other side of the map. And it can be quite a trek back, so... I didn't want to show you me waiting about. So we're going to head up here. I wonder if I can climb this mountain. Let's find out. Jump over this, and up we go. Climb, climb, climb. I wonder if it's going to be Skyrim style. It's, just, it's probably a front door. And that's probably the best way to do it, because I'm sliding down here. It's really not working. Oh, no, wait. Joe's got up there. And we've also, we've also, I must say, we've been quite lucky as well. Uh, we've actually been able to secure the clan name Firefly. Which uh, I'm quite pleased with, because I love that show. Apparently, we tried, Joe tried to get Serenity, but that was already taken. So we are Firefly. If I'd known that, I'd have called my guy Jane. But, oh well. Whoa, what the Target fuck? Destroyed. Oh, a little pre-warning would have been nice. Right, so, um, we've got to destroy these these few little things. There's loads of mutants about. I'm still, I still really like this pistol, though. Seems pretty powerful. Yeah, no, I do like that pistol. I'll probably swap it out when I get a sniper, though. I've got like, the idea of a combination of an assault rifle and a sniper. But until then, I'll keep using it. Apparently as well, because Joe's with us, he's sort of like level 300 and something. And as a result, all these enemies are going to be um, a little bit tougher for us. But I do like a challenge. Nice, nice, chain kill, cool. So as you're doing this, you're constantly leveling up and stuff. I'm not sure if there's a level cap. Maybe it's around 2,000, but whoa, what the hell? That was cool. I don't know if you saw that little blue thing. Um, that's Michael's little peak, little perk. He's got like super speed, which means when he when he sprints at someone, if he melees them, then it just does so much more damage. Um, and then the other two options are cloak, which turns you invisible, obviously. And oh, shoot. I am not good at this. And the other option is um, it's a decoy. And apparently as well, you can send your decoy out and teleport to it. And we now have a cutscene. So, ooh. Oh, shit. Kind of looks like the guy from God of War. With a big-ass gun. That fires... Oh, it fires grenades. Well, I am going to keep my distance from this guy. Defend this position! Alright, so let's, uh, let's find that dude. There he is. Put some power on and let's get some bullets in his ass. Ow. Shit. Uh-oh. This is going pretty well. Nearly dead. And after that, I think all we've got to do is just return back and... Oh, he's gone. Return back and I should have my bike. And then we can really start exploring. Uh, the other thing I want to say is because it's based on the TV series as well. There's also episode missions which sort of like link in with the TV series, which is actually pretty cool. I think it's the first time I've seen that. So as new episodes come out on the Sci-Fi channel, there'll be new episode missions on this, which I'm probably not going to cover too much on this series because I don't really want to spoil too much of the story. But same with the main story missions. We're just going to explore and see what sort of battles we get taken into. Might do the odd mission like this, uh, but nothing that's going to reveal too much of the story because I want you guys to play it and can really get into it yourselves. And also, um, as part of my drive for subscribers, I have said once I hit 100, I'll give out a game. The game I'm going to give out is Defiance. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning Defiance, um, just subscribe. As soon as I hit 100, I pick a random name from my list, and you win a copy of Defiance if it's you. And it's going to be the first of many giveaways. So, you know, I've got Joe in my ear telling me to uh, follow him, and he's going to give me a lift back. Oh, this is Joe's little snazzy car. So let's head back. See what his driving's like. Good so far. He's done two corners. And drove me off a cliff. Mm. So. Oh, that's cool. It's got a little booster. It's only a short drive back. Let's go turn this quest in. Nice. We have access to a runner now. You can use it whenever you want to get around faster. That's what I wanted. So all I need to do now is press up on my D-pad. 
And I've got this. This little bike is pretty handy. So I'm also currently bedding in a new controller, the limited edition Tomb Raider controller, which is ridiculously pretty. And it's also textured as well. So it like, feels like bandages and scratches. So just bedding this in with some poor driving. And when Michael's got his, we're going to head out onto the road. And in the next episode, you'll see what we find. Right, heading onto the highway. Oh, we've got to stop. Michael's not with us. Jesus Christ, Michael, you had one job. Well, so yeah, there was a, a few minutes waiting. Uh, I'm going to edit those out, but we are on our way now. So uh, let's see what's out there, and we'll catch you in the next episode.